So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So I did get my kid maxed, like it went very fast from max super tandem to level 150, but yeah, I've not really tried out the max super tandem kit. So I made three speedrun teams here, making use of the super tandem, and yeah, this kid is bonkers. I like to say that he's the real best unit from the anniversary like it's hard to compare them but uh, i rate kid the highest like in general content like the only one comparable to kid is like uh, the super tandem kaido who also has uses in like trashy map and super boss kizuna of course but yeah this kid is definitely Underrated I say, and I don't think people sleep on him. I think people rate him high. It's just that he's even better than that, I'd say. But yeah, Yacht was pretty nice here. Could give an Orbu stage 3. And then when we get to stage 4, he can also help remove the lock chain multiplier with the radio support. And often overlooked support. With and for good reason, I'd say. Uh, pretty funky support, but there's not a lot of chain lock support removals in general. But yeah, I think this is a pretty funny strat using Cavendish to 1D KO. Always fun to use. Can't wait to get more dupes of him so I can uh, get the level limit break stuff. I'm not opposed to giving him, him a key for sure, but he's not even level 3, I think, so yeah, that's a disappointment. But yeah, we use Kid here, and Kid does have the trash map pre recruit Luffy support to remove the bind. And then we can use the free to play killer to get call affinity and remove the rainbow shield. And yeah, we can just set up the super tandem and kill it with the dex units. Yeah, very easy, but that's to be expected from we 2 kid. He's pretty bonkers. Moving on, we have Mihawk, and I'm not overly fond of this team, I must admit. In retrospect, I should have probably gone for Heat and Wire just to make it a bit more interesting. Uh, my main problem with this team is that Capone Crew special doesn't really do anything. Uh, like, not like it removes four turns of damage wrestle, that's basically all it does. The only reason I'm running Capone Crew is for the barrier pen for stage four. And yeah, Big Mom has the Prospero support to get rid of the damage threshold. And then we just power through the Rainbow Shield with one kid special. And this lets us set up the Super Tandem as well. So yeah, it's not a big kill, but uh, still pretty easy kill, I'd say, with the level 5 Super Tandem. And yeah, the big mom is really good here to remove all of the uh, debuffs. We also carry the attack boost to final stage, which is unfortunate in the, this case. I prefer to get the Capoon crew attack buff final stage, but it is what it is. And yeah, I just get great so I can keep the orbs for final stage. And very easy kill from Capcom Crew here, one the KOing Toffee. And yeah, we're not going to be running any support to set defense to zero like usually happens, because as part of Kids. Uh, Super Tandem, he actually sets defense to zero, so that's pretty dope. So he is going to do the Super Tandem, and we set defense to zero. And we got attack boost, orb boost, and call affinity, so it's going to be an easy kill. 
And we move on to the final team of the video. And we're going to do Arena Caesar and like it's not a pure speedrun team since so we spend three turns the final stage, but it's impossible to do a proper speedrun team against Arena Caesar without using We Want Frankie. It is what it is. We Want Frankie level Lumen Prick is going to be insane actually. Might happen this year or early next year, we'll see. Going to be dope. But yeah. Uh, pretty funny though to use the uh, Kisuna, Han, Yabal and Magellan, the new one, like it's easy to assume that this is the duo unit, the raid unit, but no, this is the Kisuna free to play, that is a fake duo. But yeah, they're actually also pretty good here. And yeah, we're just going to keep these perfectly locked tandem orbs for the rest of the run. Which is pretty chill, but it also means we can get the free super tandem every single turn. Which is dope, of course. And yeah, as usual, the rare recruit yak is amazing for this stage. So we're just going to use that special. Get an attack and ore boost, and we're just going to get the super tandem as well. Because why not? And yeah, we move on to final stage. Going to use the Maglan and Hanjabal here. Or I think it's killer first, right? Yeah, killer first. Oh yeah, Hanjabal and Maglan is for the final turn. That's right. Pretty neat new option. But they just have an attack boost and super tandem, but that's enough. And yeah, the damage is going to be a bit tight here, since I'm not hitting perfects. And we do get the lock chain multiplier here, which I'm not removing. We're just removing the, the spear and getting attack boost. I shall have probably hit one perfect here, but yeah, this was my first run, so it was a bit of a test run as well. But yeah, we're using Hanjabal and Magellan here, like we get the death up and resilience. Anjabal Magellan handles that. Uh, normally you get block orbs as well, but of course we have the super locked tandem orbs. But yeah, we do get the kills, so that's nice. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.